podcast. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, we did that last time. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, Ray, let's get this thing started. We're on episode 23 of this uh, here podcast, and uh, I noticed you're eating a little snack there Yeah. before we get started. A little well, snack. I'm sneaking in a snack because I'm a little, feeling a little hungry on the hungry side this morning. What have we got? I got myself here a, um, a Aussie-style yogurt called Noosa, and it's, uh, oh, it's fine yogurt. I'm I love Noosa, right Noosa, man. It's creamy, and... Delicious, and this is fruity. It's blueberry flavor, and it's sort of like big chunks of blueberry, full blueberries. Just like when you bite into them, they just blast all over your mouth, like they just squish all over the place. And uh, it's like a big blueberry party going on in my mouth like right now. Flavor, yeah, like a blueberry flavor party. It's a taste flavor extravaganza. Man. Noosey yogurt, it's fantastic. Super, Many flavors. Super jealous. Raspberry, strawberry. I'm sorry, would you like a bite? Uh, Maybe we shouldn't yeah. share germs. A lot of things going around yeah, let's this week. Yeah, let's that. Okay, but I'm sorry I didn't bring one. I just couldn't help myself. That's all right. Is that your it's delicious favorite, stuff. Your favorite flavor? Blueberry is one of my favorites. Strawberry is one of my favorites, too. I, there's a seasonal one, which is apple cinnamon, which is to die for. That sounds really yeah. good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you mix some granola in there. You can put some granola in there and... Woo! Forget oh about Lord. it. Forget about Forget it. Forget about it. Delicious stuff, though. Yeah, man, I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. What's uh, what's up? I know. It's been about a week or something yeah. like that. It seems like forever. How much uh, you been doing? Any running? You I, yeah, I've been running. I've covered most days, you know, in that week. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's been a good week. It's been a good week. Running wise, it's been good. Uh, yesterday was a really hot and muggy day. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna tell you, there were times during my run I felt like I could stop and rest. I didn't know. Um, but it was tough. Yeah. It was a tough day. I had some crazy uphills to run. Um, I don't know why I picked that particular course, but it just kind of yeah, fell on that day. Yeah, a real challenging course on like a real hot, steamy yeah. day. Yep. It's the first like hot day of the season, I think. Yeah, I think it was the hottest day of the year. Um, so yeah, it was one of those things you just have to hydrate, mm-hmm. make sure you dress well, and um, you know, sometimes you know, put it into low gear for a little bit if you need to. That's it, man. So I did. Yeah. So I did. So it's good. Shift a little bit. Yep. Nice. Yeah, but you know things are good. Every you know, family's doing well, and can't complain about that. Work's going well, and so yeah. Great. How about you? How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Yeah, we got you know I'm busy, busy bee. I'm, I know. Uh, you know, going to school. Uh, I started. I did a volunteer thing. I volunteer in a kindergarten classroom for oh. uh, a <laughs> couple hours on Monday. <laughs> So that was fun. I, could, I can't even imagine. I can imagine you in a kindergarten class. Yeah. We, I, we had a blast. We had a blast. It's we fun. We worked on some writing. We, uh, you know, talked about a bunch of stuff. Went to Paul. Yeah. Did you sing any plans. songs? Uh, I don't think we sung songs. We did a poem, though. We did like oh, a poem. Sweet. That was good. It was fun. Uh, but yeah, so I did that. And then running wise I haven't really been uh, doing much, although... Christine actually did her first run back, wow. and I joined that's her for that. Quick. I so mean, that's that quick for her to get back into it. So yeah. So we, it was good to have kind of that dynamic back of running with my wife, which was fun. My we got to talk about this. I think that's a podcast topic in and of itself. Talk about like Christine getting back into running, and you too, right? Yeah. Getting back into running after you, you know, you so new at being parents, uh, little little infant at home, and so yeah. That would be a good topic. Yeah, yeah, we'll get her in here one of these days and she can uh, cool. give you the lowdown. But uh, yeah, it felt good. We did uh, like three miles or so. It was like a run-walk deal, but we yeah. got through it. And then uh, cool. I don't think I ran, maybe I ran once or twice by myself, just a couple miles to mm-hmm. kind of get the, get the legs moving, you know, de-stress a little bit. From yeah. All this schooling and working. And yeah, they're just, you Baby just... stuff. Burn the candle at both ends. That's it, man, but I am uh, only got five weeks left of these classes, so. Cool. We'll get through it. That'll be quick. It'll yeah, be yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, what's our topic today? What our, the heck are we talking about? Um, God, what are we talking about today? Huh? What are we going to talk about today? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we have a topic. We got a topic. We've got a topic. So, uh, you know, it's... Spring and there are a lot of races and I'm talking to people who go to races and they're, they're telling me about their experiences, yes, uh, their performances, and uh, the locations and 
Um, and then we start getting to talking about how the races are run. Um, I mean, you know, how they're organized, you know, how they're managed. And, um, you know, you get some people who say, yeah, I had a great experience. It was a really cool race. Everything was great about it. You know, it was, it was well run. It was a well run race. And, uh, you know, and then other people say, yeah, you know, it's, the race didn't go too well, you know, and mm -hmm. it was poorly managed. And so I just kind of got into thinking about going out to the races right and the experiences that you'll have when you go yeah. to a race um and i thought maybe we could talk about um our positive experiences or a good experience at a race at, at races and maybe you talk about some of the not so positive uh, experiences that we've had at races um so our topic will be that we're gonna let's for the sake of uh, you know brevity you know we'll um, you and i can talk about maybe our top three mm -hmm. um Best things at races. All right, Does that cool. makes sense. Yeah, I can dig it. right. And then, and then we can also delve into some things that we maybe don't necessarily or don't that, like about yeah, certain that races. Didn't or, work. Yeah. 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 Um, and this is assuming. All right. Let's assume that you've registered for a race. You've yeah. paid your registration fee, and you get your number, and you're ready to go. You right. Know? Right. This so is like day of. Day of. Day of. Day of you know what I mean? Like the online sign up process, or like the waiting in line at the bid pick up two days before. Yeah. This is like day of. Day of. You get there and you're ready to go. Right. Or you're not ready to go, but you're going to run the race anyway, right? So. Yeah. I've had those. Have you ever had those? You know, you had a yeah. race that you were going to run and, you know, you meant to train, but you didn't train maybe. And I did. Anyway. Yeah. Did the uh, Boston Marathon. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. Oh, yeah. Yes, we have that. We, we have that on tape too, yeah. man. Yeah. Your testimony to that. Yep. That but was rough. I had races like that, you know, that I wasn't as prepared. Um, some races, you know, I didn't plan on being too prepared. Have you have in. you ever like signed up for a race and then the day of went like not doing it? Um, I did that with yeah. the Boston Marathon too. Really? <laughs> no. Last year, I did. Um, one because it was it, the weather was rough. It was icy, so I got down the bottom of my road and I was slipping aside. And I'm like, I'm not going to drive another 45 minutes to go to this race. Yeah. So I did. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Um, so there was that, and then there were times where. There were a couple times where I planned on going to the race, I wasn't registered, mm -hmm. and then I decided not to go. Yeah. 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 I wasn't feeling it that particular morning. And, I've been and there. I, just, yeah. I think everyone's been there, I think. I don't know, maybe not. Sometimes you look at it outside and you're like, eh, no, yeah. I don't know about this weather. Yeah, I mean, it's and good to, like, nope. yeah, it's good to register for a race for that reason because you're more than likely to go. Right. But even then, some people don't necessarily go. And, you know. That's true, man. Been there. That's true. So. So what are your top three, I guess, best things that happen on race day? What yeah, best things, positive things about yeah. going to the race, the whole race experience. Give me one. Top three. Give me one. Okay, of race, um, right? and we're gonna, let's start with three and we'll work our way up. All right, sounds good. So for me, um, I have to say that number three is, and there might be some Overlap between and you and I. Be. So I don't. To, I'm, if I take something away, if I take yours away, I'm sorry. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Um, I really had a hard time with um, going to the places to go to the bathroom. Oh, right. Yep. Porta Johns. I know all. Maybe there's not enough Porta Johns. Okay. So that's uh, so that's that's a that's not a positive thing. What I like top three um, is when you go and the Porter John uh, setup is perfect. Oh man! Right? It's perfect. Hallelujah. There are plenty of them. Hallelujah. The lines are not long. You don't have to wait, and you just because you get to the race, and you gotta just go. Right? You get right. that done. You might have to go a couple of times, but where everything just flows. There's a flow. I'm sorry, and I meant flow as <laughs> Yes. Everything is. Everything flows, flows as far as yeah. the lines and the Porter John yes. situation. Yes. 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 Because I don't like waiting in line, and it's just you know you're already anxious enough. You want to get warmed up, and you don't want to spend your time. Right. And if you're like me, then like race day, you gotta go to the bathroom like now. Yes. It's not like a. Why does it always seem like you have to go more? You right. know. It's not like a wait and see situation. It's yeah. like a, I gotta go. Yeah. And then you're in line for like half an hour. Have you ever had a situation where you were in um, in line and then the gun goes off? I have, yeah. I've gotten awesome. pretty close. Awesome. I, I haven't had that happen, but I've been really darn close. Luckily, it, the race was in shift time, so it was oh. like whatever. But yeah. um, still, you don't want anything yeah, to disrupt. Yeah, still is like annoying. Yeah. Uh, so number three yeah. for me, the positive thing, good thing is 
Porta John situation is taken care of. I like it. You know, there's a couple of things that I do to make sure that my Porta John situation is like my bathroom situation is on point. What I will do every race I go to, on my, I'll get there, I'll run around, I look for what I call secret bathrooms. Okay. So yes. the secret bathroom could be like a library that's open okay. near the race start or. Yeah. You know, some public restrooms that are at the beach, if it's a race by the beach. Yes. You know? Yep. Always, I'm always searching for secret bathrooms. Dunkin' Donuts, right, Dunkin man? Dunkin' Donuts. Exactly. Hit up a dunk. Yep. And uh, <laughs> yeah. get your, uh, you know, get the flow going. Um, yeah, so always, always look for a secret bathroom. Secret bathrooms. That's what I call them. Um, secret bathrooms. <laughs> I like that. And then, um, just a, there was one situation that was, like, awful. With the Porta John situation, like um, it was at a big race, big huge race, so thirty thousand, forty thousand oh people Lord. in this race. Um, you get there wasn't really like line, like all the Porta Johns lined up in a straight in a row. Okay. So just like oh. a big horizontal line, yep. and there's just a mass sea of people in line waiting for the Porta Johns. So they're not like lined up in any particular fashion. Yeah. It's just a mass of people waiting for the Porta John in front of them. It's chaos. It's chaos. There was and then I get to the eventually I make my way up to the front of the mass of people and there's signs on each of the Porta Johns that says please make one line for each Porta John. That would have made things go a lot smoother. Yeah. Or a little bit smoother as opposed to everyone just going to the open portalet, right? You know, right. From wherever spot that they were in the front. Yeah. And that's chaos. But nobody, oh. nobody follows the signs. Right. You know? So you're like in the back, you don't even know there's signs. Right. You don't see the signs until you're right, you're about to enter the, uh, the yeah. porta john. And then you're oh. in the front of the mass of people and you're not really lined up with any particular porta john. And yeah. you're like looking and there's 50 other people next to you and you're all like ready to elbow each other to oh, get yeah. into the porta john. Yep, cross check each other to get into the porta john. Yeah, so that is awful. It is awful. And uh, I have a suggestion, and I don't know why I did this, but I did some research uh, on porta john good for you. placement. Yep. You, what you want to do if you're a race director <coughs> and you have lots of porta johns, big race, put your porta johns in a U. So you have like two on the left, three right in the middle there, and then two on the right. And then you have lines that form at each of those U's. Ah. And then you have seven porta johns, so like your line is constantly like moving, yeah. and your lines are well defined, and people know what the F is going on. So you have a series of U's. Yeah. Ah. A series of U's, and then your lines are, you got your yeah. lines, and then the person at the front of the line knows, okay, I can pick from any of these <coughs> porta johns in this U. Yep. Money. It's a great idea. It's money right there. Money in the bank. Nice. So that's what you do, right? So next time you're at a race, corner the race director and yell at him. Tell him, use. Use. Man. Or send a little tiny friendly, little friendly email. Just say, yeah, I got a suggestion. If you ever have that problem. Right. Right. So. Wow. That's cool. But yeah, so Porta Johns. My third kind of best experience thing, I was gonna do that, but I'll switch it up. Um, you could if you want. No, no, because Porta right. Johns, we'll I think, is, Porta Johns is like, okay. everybody goes through that, right? So I like it when, have you ever done a race where, um, like, it's like a shuttle to the start? Yo, yeah. 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 I've done several of those. So those I love when those buses are like on point. Right. Right. So like you are on the bus and you've got to the start with like plenty of time, you got enough time to use those porta johns, you got enough <coughs> time to stretch, yeah. warm up, do what you gotta do. Um, because they can get kind of messed up. But when the race director and the organizer has a plan yeah. and like nails it. Well, and they go off on time, yes. and there and, and, and there are enough of them so that it's just like a nice rotation. Right. People just, you know, climb on, get off, boom. Boom. Easy, Easy yeah. peasy. So like I've had uh, races where it ran like a well-oiled machine, you know? You get to the 
get to the bus pickup point, everybody gets on, they drive to the start, that bus comes right back, yeah. except another group, and then you get like 15, 20 buses making these runs, okay. and the traffic is, you know, not an issue. Mm -hmm. Nice. Money. That's what you want. You want those buses to be on point. Yeah. Yeah. What races have you done with the like buses? Um, it's been like bigger races. Yeah. What was it? I was. I did one. It was a uh, a half and a full marathon. I did the half. Yeah. Um, in Newport. Oh, cool. And uh, and they had the shuttle buses. And it went. It went over well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there were enough buses. They were just rotating. Often, yeah. so people got on and off easily. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I li I think that's the one I did too, where mm. it was pretty well done. And yeah, and actually, what was cool about it too is where you parked. They have a series of porta johns. Oh, so if okay. you wanted, you can go before, hop on the hop on the shuttle bus, takes you down to the race site, and then there are more porta johns there too. So it was cool. I thought that was pretty uh, that's a good, good idea. Yep. Because you know, you probably in your car, you might have driven a, a pretty far, you know, distance, and, and go. Right. And you probably have to go to the bathroom, right? You know, yeah. Your car, and you always go, go and then get on the shuttle. It takes, takes you down. It's good. Yeah. So I like that. I like that. Okay. And, uh, I had the what was it? The Boston Marathon. The buses were good. Yeah. They did their thing. They got you to the start. Um, plenty of time. That's kind of a long haul too. It is. It's a ways. From Boston out to Hopkinton, and it's you know. It's like at least 26 miles. Yeah, might even be 26 miles. You're not big. <laughs> they don't, they backtrack the course. <laughs> right. This yeah. is why you'll be running and you'll, this will be a midway point in the world. I was like, no, I'm just kidding. That would be fun if they give you like a little audio guided tour. <clears throat> that would be cool. But yeah, so buses, man. Get those buses on point. Cause I've had situations where they were not on point and you end up sitting around. You can miss the start. Mm -hmm. I had one um, person email me about a race they did, and like the buses were so far behind that they had to delay the start 43 minutes. So imagine that's, if you that's a drag. imagine if you got on the bus and you got there on time. Now you're sitting around waiting for 43 minutes before your marathon starts mm -hmm. in the cold, in the rain. Totally sucks. Sucks. Yep. Sucks went through a straw, I'll tell you that. That does. Can't stand that. Can't stand it. So, uh, yeah, I would say get those buses on point. Good. Because you can really mess up someone's day, you know? You can mess up my day. You don't want to do that. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> what, uh, what do you got for number two, Ray? So, number two, I'm going to say um, as a positive or good thing, that I like at the races is um, a well-marked course. And there are races, right, that I've been to that just nail it, nail it. They've got great signage, mm -hmm. um, and they've got people on the course with like, you know, signs or, you know. They know what they're doing. Orange flags, you know what they're doing, and they're attentive. Yes. Right? You know, they're not, like goofing around, looking at their cell phones and texting and talking to their buddies and that kind of thing. It's that is a good, I, when I go to a race and, and I see that it really it takes some anxiety away, you know. Because have you ever been in a situation where you were running and you went the wrong way? So because you just weren't sure. So many times. Because let's face it, I mean the course map is there, right? The right. course map is there, but who has? I mean, Nobody who, who reads the course. Who map. has the time to go through and read through it? Right. How am I supposed to know where Jones Street is? Right. Exactly. I don't know. I've never been to this little town before. Exactly. And you know, and it's 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 a bummer. It's a bummer. Um, you know, it's it, if you have the opportunity to go and review the course. You know, days before that's cool. Yeah. But if you're traveling and it's a destination, you may not know. Right. And you know. Yeah. It's it, just. I've done like little mm -hmm. races where that's a like a big issue where yeah. like they just don't have <coughs> enough volunteers. Yep. Uh, I've had that before. Um, smaller races where um, you know they, they've done an excellent job, and smaller races where maybe not such an excellent job, and I was went the wrong direction. Yeah. Uh, I never went too far off course, but there was one time where I think I lost. Probably a, 
I probably lost like 20 seconds and I was bummed out about that. Yeah. I've so. lost like a uh, hundred bucks. Yeah, right? You know? Prize money. Prize money. There you go. I could have won this little 5K, yeah. but that could have paid for way. In, that could have paid for your meals for a week. It could have. Yeah. But I didn't win because right. I went the wrong way. Yeah. So it's a bummer. And then, you know, it is like it's kind of like what, well, you know, what a bummer, but I know people who've had um where they've gone off course uh, in bigger races. Really? And that's not supposed to happen, but it mm-hmm. does. So, yeah. Yeah, that's not good. So for me, when I go to a race and and I just, you know, it's just they mark the course well, I'm happy. That's a good positive thing yeah. for me. I like, the, I like having a course that is like so well marked that even if there were no volunteers, I could get through it. Yep. You know? Because sometimes, uh, you know, volunteers are volunteers. They're standing out in the rain, it's cold, maybe they don't want to be there, yeah. or they have to do like a community service project and they're, you know, not into it. Um, but if there's arrows on the ground or signs on, you know, a post, I can just navigate myself and I don't have to worry about it. Right. One thing to mention too is having like really good like traffic control for some of the like bigger races. Yeah. I know I've had situations where like I'm in the middle of like a half marathon and I have to cross a road and there's nobody stopping traffic. That's yeah. That kind of that's that's kind of maybe kind of it's very related. It's related to what I'm talking about, I guess. But yeah, that's that's dangerous. It is, it's dangerous. Yeah. Because you're because when you're running in a race and you're in the zone, you're not always thinking about safety. You just you're running your race. You're you're focusing on that, and you should be thinking about safety. But right, you know, you slip you know you slips your mind. You're thinking about breathing, and you're thinking about making it through this 13.1 mile course. Right. And yeah. Yeah, you don't have to worry about getting plastered by a yeah. semi truck in the middle yeah. of the night. So you, yeah, so you gotta have a really good, um, you know, police detail. Right. Yep. Um, you really, really do. And I like a closed course. I, I personally oh, love, pr- prefer a closed mm-hmm. course. I I don't like running against traffic. Um, yeah, I hate that where you have to like yeah. stay inside the cones or whatever. Stay inside the cones or. You go zipping by, zip yeah. by you, or you go or running through an intersection, uh, and, and people are beeping at you and shouting at you, and mm-hmm. it's just yeah, that's takes, no fun. It takes you out of the it, it takes you out of the zone. It really just it, it interferes. Right. So, so I think yeah, well marked, and then also like well, like marshaled. Is that well marshaled? I like that. Like having yeah. great marshaling. Good marshaling. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we should take a break. Okay, okay let's, so. take, yeah, let's, let's take, take a break. On that note, we'll take a break. We have to get back and we'll talk about your number two. My number two. Okay, cool. and, oh, uh, your number two. And then we'll let's get to our about. top. Our, yes. Our best, what is it? What would it be called? The best thing that happens at races? Uh, yeah, positive things. Positive, positive. things. That, positive things that happen at races. All right, cool. We'll take a break and we'll be right back. Yeah. All right, we're back. And, uh... We're talking about some positive things that happen on race day. Yes. Right? So positive things that happen on race day. We talked porta johns. We talked um, course directions. Course directions, signage, marshaling. Signage. We talked buses. Buses, shuttling, yep. And so I've got my number two is, it's a little bit kind of narrow. It's only really um, at bigger races, but I like a good expo. Ah. You know? Yeah. I like a good I've been to some cool expos. Yeah. I've been to some really cool expos and got some really neat stuff. Yeah, and you can get some good deals at an expo. You can get some really good deals, um, and and sometimes it's weird the things that appear at expos. Things I haven't seen in years, right? There used to be these Frank Shorter jackets and apparel, um, like from when I was younger, the Frank Shorter uh, running line, and I went to an expo one time and suddenly they were there. They were a bunch, someone someone had a bunch of those. Yeah, that's nuts. And they were in really good shape, but it was like it wasn't like they were old and ready, you know, huh. moth holes. Maybe someone just had them in their garage or something. Yeah. Um, so it's just neat. Yeah. So tell me, do you like yeah, the expos? Yeah, I like a good expo. I, I know I went to the Chicago Marathon and that expo was like next level stuff. You know, yeah. the Boston Marathon Expo is crazy. Yeah, I hear a lot um, of things about that. It's not so. Yeah, I like a good expo. I like when it's like. Um, kind of well laid out and you also like I like those little offshoot kind of things you know mm-hmm. that like I 
forget the name of the brand that you like only see at expos. I think it was like Illuminite or something. The stuff that like really bright, yes. like really yes. lights up. That's something yeah. I only uh, see at expos. It's funny. That's I. That's the only. Thing. And I, have you ever purchased any of the Illuminite stuff? I haven't, but I did. I bought a pair of tights, and they're really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So you like them? They were really neat. It was just I've never seen them anywhere else. So I was right. like, what is this stuff? You know. Yeah. And uh, yeah. But the expo, yeah, I like I like when it's well laid out, and I like. I prefer like the bigger ones, you know, like the Chicago's, the Boston's. I've been to like some at like smaller yeah. marathons and it's kind of like, <coughs> eh, mm -hmm. it's a little sad and depressing, yeah. you know, um, but the, the big ones are fun because people it's are like going nuts and they got to buy their like jacket, they got to get their, you know, finisher's jacket, like, oh, I did the marathon yeah. Yeah. and they want to wear it around all day. Mm -hmm. and, um, Especially if, it, if you're into running, you, you see all kinds of things, talk to all kinds of people, mm -hmm. everyone's enthusiastic about it, you know, you can geek out on running. Right. And it's what's so cool about it, you know. Yeah, and a lot of times you pick up your bib number at the expo. Yeah. So making sure that it's like an expo that's well organized makes mm -hmm. your life way better, yeah. you know. Um, and some of them get like super high tech with like people with iPads and checking your, scanning your, your uh, whatever, your email you printed out, and getting you your bib, and then making sure you get the right t-shirt, yeah. and you know, walking you through the expo. Um, yeah, a good expo, man. Those are sweet. Yeah. That's it, man. That's number That's two. That's number two for you? It's number two. Okay. A good expo. All right, um, are we, we're on to number one. This is it. Is it my turn? This is it, man. Okay. It's for turn. me, um, Something that I, or positive thing, or thing that I like about um, a well-run race is a race that goes off on time. Ooh. Now, you alluded to it before. You were talking about that, the waiting 43 minutes or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, so I've been to some races where the race directors were so prompt. I mean, they were on the minute. Yep. And those race directors, thank you very much. I appreciate that because, you know, you want to go on time. It yeah. messes with your mind if there's a delay for whatever reason. For sure. You know, you're, you're, you're warmed up, you're ready to go, you've prepped for this, you've prepared for this, and even if you haven't prepared for it, you're there, you're ready to go, you've got, you know, you want to get going with that race, and you want that gun to go off right on time. God, dude. You know, if, if like, I like running races when I did like to, um, compete, when I was competing more, I love October races. Yep. I like a race in, say, April or May, but it could be really chilly, right, at that start. Be. For sure. You know you're going to get warmed up once that race starts. However, if you're just standing around in your singlet in a pair of, like, you know, two-inch two two inch split shorts, you get cold fast. That's for sure. So, yeah. So I, I really, kudos to, to the race directors who get those races off on time. Mm -hmm. yep. I totally agree. Yep. Totally. Especially if it's, like, bad weather. Or something, right? Oh, dude. Yeah, and throwing bad weather in there, throwing like some, you know, a, a frost or some little rain and. But it's know, like snowy. thirty-eight and rainy, yeah. and you're in the in the middle of the street waiting for the race director to make sure the course is clear for yeah. twenty minutes while you're right. shivering and trying to stay warm before the race starts. Mm -hmm. That can be rough. Yeah. So get that race. Yeah. Started uh, promptly, man. I like a race that goes off on time. On time. Like clockwork, boom. Yep. And then get people to the starting line like <clears throat> 10 minutes before and then yeah. go. Yep. That's it. So you like a, just a well-organized yeah. race. I think that's what we're kind of getting at, right? Yeah, now. we're talking just, about that. We just want something that's well done. I'm paying you a lot of money. Yes. Usually even like a 5K is like 30 bucks. I'm paying you 30 bucks. Give me something, you know? Yeah. Make it worth my money. And I would have to say, for me, it's been more positive than negative. Oh, but every okay. once in a while, there's like, you know, a clunker that happens. I yeah. Know, so. But yeah, I agree. Most, most race directors know what they're doing. And a lot of the races are done <coughs> well, yeah. I think, for the yeah. most part. Yeah. Yeah. So, so my number one. Number one for you. Is a good spread. <gasps> Yeah. You know? Hey, that's important. That I'm makes gonna tell my, you. that makes my day, cause like, like I said, I'm dropping thirty bucks. I could run three miles at my house for free. <laughs> yeah. 
you know? Yeah. But, uh, good I, spread, but so. I don't get a good spread at my house, you know? So, But so I like good. a race that has like solid food at there. What kind of stuff you like for that? I mean, what are you oh, talking about? Oh, man. There was one race that was like uh, put on, I forget who was put on by. It was the state police race <coughs> here in Rhode Island. And they had such a good spread after. It was like a cookout, basically. Oh, so you'd have I love that kind of stuff. Hot dogs, yeah, that's, that's nice like when they're cooking. Pork, you'd yep. have like um, maybe some beer afterwards. Some beer, yeah. some real veggies. Yep. You'd have like that's sweet. Yeah, it it's like awesome. a party. It's like an after party. It was like a party. Yeah, there. Are, I've heard there are some races out there that have great. They're known for their spreads. Right, like right? that's why people do yep. the race. Like a New Bedford half, it's known for its, I mean, it's known for its competition level yep. and its field and crowd support, but it's got a great spread afterwards. Yeah, man. Yeah. The so. spread, man. That's what you need. You need oh. some solid food after. Have you gotten some clunkers too, though? Like, yeah. you, you know, what, kind of, what kind of stuff have you seen yeah. that spreads that you didn't like? You know, things like, well, you know, you get the usual like bananas. Yeah. Whatever. That fruit's good. Apples. Oh, yeah. Maybe. One time a cat saw string cheese. <laughs> <laughs> string cheese? Well, they just string, pile them up there in a plastic? Just a pile of string cheese. Were, were, were a lot of people eating it? Or? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't touch it. I don't think I would touch cheese after a race that's been sitting out there. I don't care if it's cool no, or warm no, or what. No. You know. I like string cheese too, yeah. but it has its place. And after a race, it's not its <laughs> no, place. No, no. No one wants string cheese after a race. Oh. We're, we're like, you know, only thing worse would be like cottage cheese or something oh. after a race. I love cottage cheese too, but if you've had it a spread afterward, that'd be kind of weird. Yeah. You have a big trough of it, right? There's some Imagine races that. too where like it's uh, it's kind of funny. And we've had um, I had a race where they lined, they just put like a bunch of hot dogs on a table, and they're not like covered. Or oh my god! So you have like all these runners who are super sweaty, yeah. like leaning over the hot dogs and just. Rip it all over Post race hot dog buffet. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. gross. Not good. Oh. Um, but yeah, I like a good spread. Give some variety. Beer is always good. Love beer after a race. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a local race that's put on by like a bar, yeah. and they do kegs, like a lineup of kegs. That's they do all the good food, and it's like, like you said, like an after party. It's like an after party. It's like a cookout, and that's real nice. So let me, I got a, a would you rather oh, sure. for you, okay. Yeah. Um, would you rather um, have, and this is, you have to have, you have to choose one. I got to choose one, all right. Would you rather after a race on a hot day in June, would you rather have, would you rather eat a hot dog that's been out there uncovered, or would you rather have a string cheese? <laughs> Is the string cheese like wrapped up nicely? <laughs> it's wrapped up. It's wrapped up nicely, but it's you know how long it's been sitting there. <laughs> At least an hour. I would eat the hot dog. You would eat the hot dog? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. I just don't like string cheese, period. So. Okay. Okay. But a hot dog I'll eat. Even yeah. if it's got sweaty Yeah, sweat right. If you got sweat on it. Okay. It's like a little salty kick, you know? Probably oh. enhances the flavor a little bit, you know? I'm my yeah, I'm starting. I, my gag reflex oh, is starting to see, kick in. No, my gag reflex is starting to kick in just with that thought. Sweaty hot dog. That's <laughs> disgusting. That's gross. I would totally eat that. That would be it. Okay. Yep. Uh, I think that might be a good place to end. I it, think right? so. We gotta. Uh, we gotta get to work, man. Sweaty hot dogs and string cheese. <laughs> it oh. doesn't get better than that, you know. We hope we haven't <laughs> made any of you folks out there gag. Okay. That would be a funny spread at the end of a race. Just. Hot dogs and string cheese. Oh, you probably wouldn't be, you know, doing that race another year. That would probably be your last race. Yeah, that is for sure. Um, all right, cool. We'll wrap it up with that. And uh, do we know what we want to talk about next week, or we what are we gonna do? Um, we'll figure something out. Figure it out. Right? Yeah, we'll figure it yeah. out. We've always got great topics, and uh, it's just a matter of choosing one for that particular day because there's just so many of them. Right. Exactly. Always cool. Maybe we'll things. get some guests on this thing. Yeah, we could definitely get some guests. Yeah. Um, but cool. Thanks uh, for listening. And watching on YouTube there. Um, we'll uh, see you next week. Yeah, keep running. <laughs>